in the early 90s. I remember sitting on the floor. I was shining my shoes and I was stiff getting up. And I realized the biggest shock to me was that I had something that wasn't going away. So the disease that I have is called HSP. And uh, it's a chronic progressive form of the disease. I was lucky I was dating a woman in 1996 who was an occupational therapist. And she told me about this woman who was working with the MS Society, developing a program called Gateway to Wellness. And it was about how to make your life work in the circumstances of your disease and in your current surroundings. And since I come from a design and construction perspective, I thought, what if I actually assisted people in making homes that work for them? And that's how Homes Without Limits came about. So when we look at the big picture of a home, we want to eliminate all barriers. One of the things that, that I'm committed to is everything be functional and beautiful. And that's just my passion. You don't have to have a ramp that is built outside. You have it designed so that it fits into the landscape. Wider doorways, just to make sure that everything flows. So you don't want to have major steep inclines and that type of thing. But the most important thing is, if you think functional and beautiful at the same time, then it looks like it's always been there. Inside of these challenges, I have gotten to become someone I would have never known myself to be. In some ways, I'm a little embarrassed, you know, that that is that it took this for me to become who I am. Uh, and yet, I'm so committed that all people have great lives. I'm so committed that we all live in a life that works for everyone. That when I saw a need, I wanted to fill it to be able to touch people that have barriers in their lives and eliminate those barriers. Creation of St. Louis Civic Pride Foundation, the creation of a home business, and to actually be part of the MS Society and has become a whole life that is pretty extraordinary.